and to be able to endure that pain patiently, willingly, with a smile on your face, that's the unbeatable man who has that endurance, who has that durability, who can outlast second. It's time to find out what you're truly capable of. It's time to find out your true potential. It's time to find out who you really are because you're always capable of doing more and helping more and improving more and making a bigger impact. And the only way to do that continuously without being smashed is to have such a high level of ability to endure suffering. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And this week, we're going to talk about one of my favorite words and one of my favorite pastimes, and that is suffering. We're going to do a deep dive into the world of suffering, why it is important, why it's necessary to suffer, and especially the modern day man, why it's even a prerequisite for success for a man to suffer in the modern day. First off, the Steve Eckert Show is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success, showing you how to operate to dominate in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, start living your life on your own freaking terms, all while you create your own personal ideal freak freedom lifestyle. This is all about transforming men and women from where they are to where they want to be, need to be, and freaking deserve to be. Now let's dive into suffering. Now you know we have a a, a rite of passage suffering suffer fest called the Project for Men, a four-day personal development program, and that's really what it's about. It's about having breaking them down physically, physical suffering, so they can have breakthroughs mentally, emotionally, socially, spiritually. That's what it's about. This is why myself and the Freak family, I just did a, there was an episode, a couple episodes back about the lessons learned from one of our 24-hour challenges. We regularly do these 24-hour challenges that are just pure suffer fests. Now, the project is more like on a a yearly major event, suffer fest type thing. Those 24-hour challenges are kind of like a quarterly, a little, a, a different length of suffering, but then we also do it on a weekly level, on a micro level. And then even a daily level, weekly, we do suffering Saturday workouts. So we're always constantly pushing the pace, doing hard shit because you need to prepare yourself. What's the purpose of this? So why do people need to suffer? Why do men need to suffer? Why does anyone need to suffer? And, it, and someone asked me recently, is it just as important for women to do hard shit and suffer? I think it is probably not as important as it is for men, but hell yeah, they should also be doing hard stuff too for these exact same reasons to prepare for the real world to kind of prove your prove to yourself what you're capable of and really to, to show yourself that you have what it takes or you're getting older. Shit, I'm 45 years old and I'm always finding new ways to push the boundaries, new or higher levels of suffering just to answer the question of do I still have what it takes at that phase that you're in life? It's also doing these, these types of challenges and, and suffering is really Practice is, is what you've been training and learning and talking about is mental toughness, like building that mental toughness to help you deal with the real world and, and the, the chaos and the craziness and the brutality and the fucking all the off the wall shit that's going to happen in the real world. Like you need to level up in your pain. You need to overcome these roadblocks and attack the adversities in life. That's what suffering is all about. That's what suffering is preparing for you because all achievement, all growth and transformation need some level of fear and pain and sacrifice and hardship and freaking suffering. And you need a huge physical, mental, and emotional commitment to grow and level up. And the only way to get package all that together is in suffering, 
is in doing hard shit, putting yourself through difficult situations so you're prepared for anything, to be able to control yourself emotionally. Go back and watch the episode on emotional discipline. Again, all these, all these episodes are all synergistic with each other. And it's, again, do you, do you, do you want to do everything you need to do at this point in your life to uncover your true potential? Like, are you capable of doing that stuff? Are you willing to choose suffering for you to grow and level up in your mindset, in your family, in your fitness, in your business? Because in order to grow in all those, it's going to require suffering, a significant level of pain and suffering. And if you're unable to handle it, you're going to crumble under the freaking pressure. You need to, any level of success in all of those areas is going to take some suffering because suffering will forge character. Suffering will develop the, the self-awareness and build that character, forge that character. It's going to reveal to you not just what you're capable of or what the possibilities are or your potential is. It's going to reveal to you your superhuman powers, your superhuman abilities you didn't even know fucking existed. It's going to show you a whole new level of capabilities and possibilities out there. And on top of that, it's going to strengthen your ties and bonds. You saw in the previous episode about the lessons learned, about the how suffering bonds people together. And suffering separates average men from the great men when it comes to the project, when it comes to families and fathers. Suffering is, is make, it's really making the most use of your time like because it's such a force multiplier use of your time because every second you waste in life is a form of fucking death. So you need to learn to grow to step, step up into who you were meant to be. And the only way to do that is to endure suffering and pain and use it as an investment to become this greatest, best, highest version of yourself. And you hear this stuff all the time, be the best version of yourself. The only way to find out what is even that best version of yourself is, is through massive amounts and regular, consistent, ongoing suffering. Because you must be first broken down before you can be rebuilt. All your muscle. When you're, every time you go to the gym and you're lifting weights, you are breaking down muscle. Your muscle is suffering so it could be rebuilt back stronger and ready to deal with more and have more strength and more power and more endurance and grow and get bigger and becomes a new level of muscle. And you only discover who the fuck you really are at times of suffering, at times of difficulty and adversity. You really find out who the, hell you're, who, who the hell you are and what the fuck you're really made of when you're at that breaking point and just on the edge of what's bearable and it's, it feels, seems impossible to take one more step and you take that step. That's the level of suffering. That's the breakthroughs. That's the magical portal that suffering will take you through. You need to invest in suffering to get to this level of greatness. And suffering is an investment. You're investing your time. You're investing your pain. You're investing your effort, your energy, your emotions. You need to level up and attack this hill of suffering. And, and you, that's the only way to build this empire of you, empire that you're looking to build, is through suffering. suffering. And make, this, make it your most significant investment to greatness, to success. Choosing this to live that type of life that creates that inspiration and impact and significance that you want to live, you need to choose suffering. Turn your suffering into superpowers, going above and beyond the extra mile and expecting nothing in return after all that you go through. Go where no one else is willing to go. Be capable of no, what no one else is capable of doing. Where no one can keep up. No one else has a capacity or the bandwidth. That's the level that suffering is going to lead you to. Overcoming the obstacles that are preventing your success. Destroy the roadblocks that are in your way and slowing you down. And exploiting hidden opportunities for growth. Slay that inner bitch and unleash the inner beast. This is what suffering leads to. This is why you would should need to seek suffering. So you can find out, are you built to endure when things don't go your way on this level on, as you're going and doing these things? Are you ready for the challenges that life's going to throw at you when life gives you those universal bitch slaps and the kicks to the nuts and throws dirt and sand in your face while you're on the ground? Suffering helps you deal with that shit with a smile. 
And suffering, you can, you can change the word suffering if you want. Change it. You could call it adversity or hardship. You could even call it misery, misfortune, difficulty, torture if you want. But suffering is, is being able to undergo or feel pain or distress or experience or suffer through change, be subjected to or to endure pain or distress or injury or loss or anything unpleasant. That is suffering. And to be able to endure that pain patiently, willingly, with a smile on your fucking face, that's the unbeatable man who has that endurance, who has that durability, who can outlast any other motherfucker. So I told you, it's, we, in the project, we break down to break through. And some of the quick points of even just to talk about the lessons learned from that 24-hour challenge, I had a lot to do with suffering, about being in the middle of the night, being all alone when no one's watching. It's almost like an out-of-body experience. How are you going to respond in those situations in the real world? You need to first put yourself through that stuff voluntarily so you're prepared for it, to uncover your weaknesses physically and mentally. Where do you need to get better? Where do you need to improve? Suffering creates this whole new level of open-mindedness and awareness and creativity, different thought patterns, almost like an out-of-body experience when you go to that next level of suffering, past that point where most motherfuckers are going to quit and you just keep driving forward. And then think about when you, we do those challenges, we're suffering together as a family. That's family time. We're talking, we're connecting, we're laughing. Suffering together bonds people together like not many other things can when you're suffering together and pushing yourselves and, and pushing each other, making it a competition of, and, 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 and throughout the pain and enduring. Like, holy shit. And discovering what you're capable of enduring what you can handle, especially when we do these 24-hour challenges within 24 hours. Show yourself what you're made of, what your potential is. That you're, Show that you are prepared for war. You are prepared for the adversities in life that are coming your way. That you have the, not just the physical toughness, but the mental toughness and this internal fortress that's impenetrable. This inner, they call the Stoics, call it the inner citadel. You can't have that inner citadel without a, some fucking suffering. It just can't happen. And until you, a, a man that's not subjecting himself to regular suffering, is, to me, is just half a fucking man. He's always going to be always looking and searching for that missing piece, always looking for the easy way out and looking to seek comfort and looking for validation and approval and always crafting excuses and, and bullshit stories in your head looking for the easy button or the magic pill or the magic fucking needle to stick in his ass, always searching for that because he's avoiding the suffering. He's looking for the comfort, afraid of the pain, being a little bitch boy. When the answer is right there inside of you in your own suffering, the missing piece is you, the missing piece is this suffering. Emba- embrace this pain, the discomfort, and this suffering. And then think of it on a different level uh, that we already kind of touched on. Suffering is, is a method of connection. It's a method of communication. Suffering is the path to growth. It's the spark for transformation, that breakdown to breakthrough. It's the ingredient for success. It's a motherfucking art form. It is a beautiful thing. Suffering is freedom. Because it doesn't only, again, doesn't only lead to that physical growth. It's probably the least thing that's affected is physical growth when it comes to suffering. Suffering is far more than even mental or emotional breakthroughs. Suffering also is social when you're doing it with other people, but it's even more than that. The type of th- this type of suffering will lead to a, a new level of like spiritual, almost enlightenment. Motherfucking next level shit. Almost from a, a different freaking out-of-body experience dimension. That's what we're talking about, suffering. That's the levels you're looking at suffering to take you to, into that freak flow state. And in this state, Pain is not temporary. You're not looking for pain to be temporary. In that state, pain is fucking permanent. You're, you can endure forever. Pain is permanent in that state. Once you realize these things, you become fucking bulletproof, impenetrable, unfuckwithable. It's brutal, but it's beautiful. And it's motherfucking awesome. These, these hard, 
suffer fest, these challenges that you endure, you endure them until you enjoy them. There's tons of ridiculous moments of clarity and reflection and awareness that come out of suffering, especially when we do these 24-hour challenges, especially when these guys go through the project. Suffering is flipping the switch from enduring to enjoying. That is the, that's like the magical portal going from that suffering to a superpower, flipping the switch from just being enduring it and just dealing with it and trying to, to, to make it through it just to survive to enjoying it and fucking thriving under those conditions, going from pain is temporary to pain is permanent. Again, that physical breakdown to initiate mental, emotional, social, and spiritual freaking breakthroughs. Suffering will lead to that type of clarity. Suffering leads to that type of connection. Suffering leads to transformation and growth. There's no better way to connect with your people, with your family, than shared pain, shared hardship, and suffering. Shit, that's... Some of those hours of suffering that we have just on a regular weekly basis, like our suffering Saturdays, that is the most productive hours of our life. Imagine this, working out with your spouse, with your kids, even shit with your pets included, adding in some friends, some other family, maybe some clients and some prospects, outdoors, doing a hard-ass workout. That's talking about creating a memorable experience that are going to last a lifetime and maybe even doing it for charity like we do sometimes. That is a force fucking multiplier of productivity. You can't get more, much more bang for your buck when you combine all that stuff together. And all that is revolved around suffering, suffering together, the connections and the bonds, again, and the communication and the clarity that comes out from that. Like how often are you creating those types of memorable experiences that your kids are going to remember the rest of their lives? How often are you connecting and suffering and pushing and pressuring each other to be even better than you already are? How often are you influencing your people with your energy, uplifting people with your energy, bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. It's time to find out what you're truly capable of. It's time to find out your true potential. It's time to find out who the fuck you really are because you're always capable of doing more and helping more and improving more and making a bigger impact. And the only way to do that continuously without being smashed is to have such a high level of Ability to endure suffering. I don't remember who, who said the quote, but it was, no, it's, it's, it was something like, no man is more unhappy than he who never faces adversity, for he is never permitted to, pro in, to prove himself. I don't remember who said it. I'll have to look it up. I just know that's somehow how it goes. But really, in other words, it's that saying, do hard shit. Find out what the hell you're made of. Find out what you're truly capable of. Find out who the fuck you really are. Find out if you are a man that does have what it takes. Find out if you're a man that still has what it takes. Find out how you're going to respond in fucked up situations in, in the world and everyday life. When adversity enters your life, when the enemy shows up at your doorstep, when your inner bitch starts creeping up, when fear and doubt and procrastination start to sink their claws into you, when you get knocked down, stabbed in the back, and get your fucking teeth kicked in while you're down, how the fuck would you respond? Will you crumble under the pressure or will you step the fuck up and don't let that obstacle or the thought of suffering hold you back from getting after what you want, what you need, and what you freaking deserve because pain is an, in an inevitable part of life, but pain also gives you a chance to freaking level up through that suffering. It can show you how to overcome the roadblocks and, and attack the adversity, leveling up in pain, overcoming the roadblocks, attacking adversity. These are high-level fucking man skills that help you control your emotions and refer to that emotional discipline episode of the podcast we did a couple episodes back. Ties right into this. These are your most important skills of making a man to develop in order to achieve rapid personal growth and the highest levels of success. It's time to step up, motherfucker. Don't just embrace the pain. Don't just embrace the suffering. Search for it. Hunt it down. Charge into the fucking teeth and the fire of the fucking devil. Instead of viewing adversity as just a, a negative experience, see it as an opportunity for growth and development because failure is feedback. Turn that adversity into an advantage. Turn the suffering into a superpower. Flip that freaking switch. Because when, when faced with adversity, 
It's easy to get overwhelmed and lose sight of your purpose and your goals. Stay focused on what's important and keep that long-term perspective in mind. Play the long game. This game is a marathon, not a fucking sprint. That's why pain is not temporary. It is permanent. Think that long-term and you're ahead of the game. Adversity is a normal, natural, and expected part of life, but it's how you choose to approach it that will determine your success. Someone, I forget this quote also, was something like, it's not the weight that we bear on our shoulders, it's how we carry it. Like, that's what suffering is. Some people get adversity, suffering, pain, and they carry it a whole different way than the motherfucker who was built for this shit, who practiced this shit, who did voluntary suffering and manufactured adversity regularly, consistently, all through life. Learn to grow. Learn to step up to this level into who you're meant to be as a man to stand up and stand out. Because guess what? The universe doesn't owe you shit. All the stuff that comes your way, these are just tests from the universe to see if you are ready to handle the next level, to see if you can handle the suffering. If you can't handle the suffering at this level, how the fuck are you going to handle it up here where it's going to be harder and more painful and more adversity and more bullshit and more haters and more work and more pain and suffering? It's, this is really just tests from the universe. Whenever you have adversity and suffering come your way to see if the, if the universe is seeing if it should open up its gates to the next big thing for you. The universe will not permit you to enter until you have dealt with all the bullshit and suffering at this level, dealt with all the pain and suffering and the mud slinged in your face until you have slayed all the fucking dragons at this level, until you've earned the right and proven yourself worthy of what's to come beyond those freaking gates. It will not open up to you if you're just a whining, bitching, moaning, negative little bitch, always stressing and wasting time and wasting energy and wasting emotion and crumbling under the pressure of the pain and the suffering. Until until the universe believes you, until you prove it to the universe, until the universe feels and fucking believes you that you are enjoying and maximizing and having a motherfucking blast and, and appreciating this level, and dealing with that pain and suffering like a a motherfucking boss, it will not admit you to that higher level of of a being or higher level of thought or even higher level of consciousness and success or business or money or fulfillment or happiness. It'll keep you at that same fucking level you're stuck at. Average, mediocre. If that next level doesn't see you smiling at the, in the face of suffering, it will not send you an invitation to the next fucking stage. If you don't appreciate and you don't scale and make the most of what you have here and right now, why the fuck would you get rewarded with more? So you can waste more? So you could bitch and complain and waste even more opportunities? Scale what you already fucking have. Scale what you already like. Scale what's already working. Scale what you're already grateful for. Deal with the fuck-ups and failures and the slime balls and the haters and the backstabbers and the roadblocks. Not only with a motherfucking smile, but with a positive energy force and attitude that makes the most of it, that weaponizes everything, that deals with this suffering. Then, and only then, will the gates to whatever is next in your life, in your journey, not until then will those gates fucking open up for you. That's the real power of energy and gratitude and suffering. It's crazy how gratitude and suffering and energy all go hand in hand to create this powerful force. Realize that there will be great fucking victories and there will be glory beyond those fucking gates, but there will also be even greater motherfucking dragons to slay and even more suffering. You need to be ready for that and prove it at this level. Ask yourself, are you ready to roll, motherfucker? Are you ready to make this happen? This is what it's all about. Suffering and pain, turning suffering into superpowers because again, no great level of success or results have ever been achieved without a significant level of sacrifice, hardship, pain, and a whole lot of suffering. This is why we do such long, ridiculous, physical and mental, mental challenges on a regular basis. This is where the real growth happens. This is where the real life lessons are learned. This is where the real connections and clarity happen. This is where you find out your true potential and you get more connected to your purpose. This is where you find out what the fuck you're really made of 
and who the hell you really are. This breakdown to break through. It's enduring these physical breakdowns that the mental, emotional, and spiritual and breakthroughs happen. What are you doing on a regular basis that lights this fire under your ass, that challenges you? Are you manufacturing adversity? Are you volunteering suffering? Do you know how to turn suffering into a superpower? I want to ask you this. What are you going to do? What big, massive form of suffering are you going to put on your calendar within the next 12 months? I'm talking massive, disgusting level of suffering in the next 12 months. And then what kind of medium, horrible level of suffering are you going to put in the next quarter? What moderate level of suffering are you going to put on this week? And what regular, everyday level of suffering are you going to put on the calendar today? This is what it's all about. You need to manufacture adversity and have voluntary suffering. Sure, you are ready for whatever comes your fucking way. This is what it's all about. Motherfucking suffering. Learn to suffer. Learn to deal with it. Learn to make it your bitch. And you will realize that pain is permanent. Nothing will be able to stop you. Nothing will be able to derail you. There will be no roadblocks in your success in your family, in your mindset, in your fitness, in your business, because suffering is coming in all those. I guarantee fucking teeing it. Are you ready for it? What are you doing to prepare for it? I want to hear down in the comments below. What is the suffering you're putting on your calendar on that higher level, that, that yearly level, that quarterly level, that weekly level, that daily level? What are the different levels of suffering that you volunteer for? What is the adversity that you manufacture? And then I also want to hear about what lessons have you learned through your own personal suffering? Maybe traumatic experiences even. We didn't even talk about that. The ones that life throws your way, not even voluntarily. What have you learned through the suffering in your life? Put that down in the comments below and send this message to any of your friends, your family members, your coworkers that need to level up in life, that are stuck in this certain level and will never get to that next level until they embrace the suffering at this level and show that they can handle it and show they are capable of dealing with the levels of suffering that are going to be required at the next level because the, 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 what you're dealing at this level is not going to be good enough for what you need to do up at that next level. So send this to them. Put down the comments below. I want to hear about your experiences, your lessons learned in suffering, and what do you have upcoming on the calendar to volunteer suffering. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like, share, and I will see you next time on the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.